Hello Virgo, welcome to this bonus reading. Looking at your person's energies, thoughts, feelings towards you. What are they currently thinking or feeling about you and their intentions towards you? As always, keep in mind these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates what resonates and applies to you. If I could talk, let's jump right in. Virgo, spirit angels, guides. What guidance, messages, insight do you have for Virgo regarding the person they're thinking about connecting with at this time? What do we need to know about their energies towards Virgo? At this time, what are their energies towards Virgo? Let's see what we have. Wow, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords. I heard it's complicated. Five of Cups. Yeah, Virgo, you would love this Knight of Pentacles. It's very you energy. Um, something that is methodical, planned out, practical, reliable, Knight of Pentacles. Uh, something that is slow to develop, but is very stable. However, the Three of Swords, Five of Cups, when this person thinks about you, Virgo, they think with heartache, disappointment, regrets, um, tears have been shed over you, over this connection. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands. So maybe this is somebody that is um, thinking about having a stable home, a happy home with you, um, celebrating with you, seeing themselves married to you or committed to you. Um, the Four of Wands is about stability. That's why there's two wands on either side. And it's about kind of a rite of passage, that next step, that next phase of your life where you know, there's domestic bliss and something to celebrate. So I think that this is what this person is hoping for. But like I said, it's complicated. Let's get some more energies out here. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Virgo. Spirit, tell me more about this person's energies towards Virgo. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Virgo. Divine timing, trust in divine timing. We have strong bonds. Strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. Can I get one more for Virgo? What are they thinking, feeling? What are their energies towards Virgo? I think they're waiting for the right time. Yeah, paralyzing fear. I think this person's afraid of failure. They're afraid of being rejected. They're afraid perhaps of not having their family back or losing this bond that they have. Past life is at the bottom of the deck. So I think they're thinking of the past. This could be even a past life connection that you have with this person, something very strong. What else can you tell me about this person? By the way, Virgo, if you are interested in any of the Oracle decks that I'm using today, they're all decks that I've designed and they're linked in my website if you're curious. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Virgo. What do I need to know? What do I need to know about this person? Creative, artistic, and clever. Number 13. Yeah, I think this person's trying to figure this out. And almost like waiting, it's like a clever way, this divine timing. I'm getting someone that's like, now's not the right time. I have to plan this. Masculine, divine masculine. And open, inviting and expressive. They could even send you some sort of a message first. This could be a divine masculine energy that you're dealing with. Or they're thinking of you this way. Yeah, this person, um, they're going to really think about their approach. They're going to think about their approach. It's not going to be something that's done quickly or, you know, rashly. Bottom of the deck, I have curious, interested, and inquisitive. Yeah, I think this person's keeping tabs on you. But I think whatever they're seeing, I don't know. It doesn't really make them happy. It almost like worries them more. I don't know why I'm getting that message. Maybe you're doing very well. Maybe you look like you don't miss them. Maybe you look like you've moved on. I don't know. Let's get some clarity for Virgo. Can we get some clarity on these energies here? I want to find out why all this sadness. 
let's find out what's going on here with the three of swords and the five of cups first and then i'll look at this knight of pentacles tell me about the three of swords why is the three of swords here ten of pentacles eight of swords knight of swords mm. okay so i think words were exchanged i think this person thinks about what was said a lot almost like they've internalized this there could have been um verbal conflicts yeah the hangman i think this person's really thinking about that conversation that you had i'm also getting a message that this person is very unhappy right now um and where, wherever they are they feel a bit stuck and they wish they could send you a text a message and for some reason they can't Yeah, Ten of Wands, because there's a burden, there's an obstacle, there's some sort of responsibility this person has where, or a lot going on in their life where they're stuck there. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Looking back at the past with sadness, dip, disappointment, regret. That's the Five of Cups feeling some sort of a loss, like something hasn't worked out. Why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? Yeah, death, Scorpio energy, because something ended, something changed for worse. Tell me about the Five of Cups. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, someone with water in their chart, perhaps. Doesn't have to be, it's just sense that someone still cares despite an ending or a change. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Yeah, the chariot cancer energy, a lot of water energy here. Um, this is moving forward. This is moving towards success. This is being on a journey, a path that moves quickly towards where you want to be. Wow. And then there's the higher font, Taurus energy. And then Pisces at the bottom of the deck, the moon. So we have cancer, Pisces, Scorpio strongly here. We also have Taurus energy. I think um, some of you are dealing with a person who is married and is unhappily married and wishes they could just leave, um, but they can't. Others of you, I feel like this person wants to move forward and do things right, do things the traditional way, the, the, the way that is meant to happen, right? Like follow all of the steps of courtship and lead to commitment. Um, and they, they can't do that because of some, some sort of regret or mistake in their past. Um, this person, I feel like they have a lot of goals, aspirations over the future, but they also wonder if they're being realistic. Yeah, the, the world right after the moon. Yeah, there's a two of pentacles. There's like an uncertainty here about, you know, starting over or closing a cycle and starting a new one. There's not a lot of clarity there. There's doubt and fear tied to that. And I feel like this person goes back and forth with the two of pentacles, almost like, can I really do this? Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The Hermit, there you are, Virgo. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Again, a planner, someone that's, yeah, and again, it's related to the past, Six of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you are the past, Virgo. You are, you're a connection to the past that this person still thinks about yeah two of wands and then the wheel of fortune Sh am i ready to take this path choose this path make this decision they're thinking of the past of going back to the past i feel yeah but the seven of wands there's there's conflict there or something they have to fight against something they have to be brave about divine timing is at play so maybe it's just not the right time right now for them to do what they want to do Let's get a little bit more insight on their energies. I can't even, I can't pick up my deck. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Virgo. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Virgo. I regret what happened. Oh yeah, they're having regrets. That five of cups. What else? Three of Swords, too. What else do we need to know about this person's energies? Please wait for me. 
Yeah, divine timing. Again, it's not the right time. Bottom of the deck, I'm really struggling. And it's because of whatever else is going on. For some reason, you're not together or there's a rift, a separation, something that has gotten in between you and this person, Virgo. And if that's resonating, uh, let me know in the comments. Are you willing to wait for this person? What are their intentions towards you? Let's look at that. Tell me about this person's intentions towards Virgo. Tell me about this person's intentions towards Virgo. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's intentions towards Virgo? Ah. Four of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles. Uh, very Earth energy. I think they're completely like... Um, what's the term they're like on your level no that's not the term it's, it's like they're on your frequency bottom of the deck the empress it's almost like i don't know they are they're not just thinking with their heart because the king and queen of pentacles they are like my you know in, in the tarot for me as a reader they're always married and dependable the perfect the perfect marriage um because they both work hard they both put time and effort into their connection and they're very successful because of it um they're also doers um they put plans into action and they don't take risks, so it might take a little bit longer, but it's always with success in mind, stability in mind. I think that's the way that this person is thinking and intending to take action towards you. Let's see what we get when I clarify. But the Four of Pentacles also tells me they're being like very careful, uh, maybe even a little too careful, almost like they might be overthinking this a lot. But it's like they feel they have to because they're dealing with you. Whatever that means, I'm, that's just the message I'm getting. Tell me more. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Oh, this one. Five of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with a married person, Four of Cups. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, okay. The lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini Energy. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Yeah, Ace of Wands, Six of Swords. So again, it's that back and forth because I feel like this person they're holding back a little bit and they are being very careful because of the conflict ahead. Five of Swords. Um, there's some sort of situation where they could really lose bad. Um, they could really be hit with some sort of conflict. And that's why the Seven of Wands came out earlier. It's like they have to fight back against this. Four of Cups. They are really worried about your um, rejection slash acceptance, the way that you will take this. Um, when they think of you, for some reason, they think that you're not going to be very open to this idea. I feel like some of you in the comments are going to be like, I'm definitely not going to be taking that back, you know, which, uh, I mean, it's fair. I'm not saying that you have to take anybody back. That's not what I'm here to do. But, um, this person's already thinking about that. And this Ace of Wands is tied to a departure of some sort with the Six of Swords. So they already know if they're going to have a Six of Wands, um, not Six of Wands, an Ace of Wands, which is like a passionate new beginning, a new adventure, a new start, they have to walk away from something else. They have to be free of whatever burden they feel stuck in. I don't see action directly here. I think this person is still waiting for the right time to act. And that time hasn't come. Let's get one more energy for this person. Can I get one more energy for this person that is dealing with? One more energy for this person that Virgo is dealing with thinking about. Even though we are apart, 
our souls are united. Yeah. You're linked in some way. This person feels a strong bond with you, but, you know, you're not together. Bottom of the deck. Ah, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Yeah, they're not happy where they're at. If they left you for someone else, they regret that. Um, if they thought they would have a better opportunity elsewhere, that hasn't panned out for them. And that's where the regret comes in. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you haven't already, it's a great way of supporting me for free. I really appreciate anybody who takes the time out of their day to do that. So thank you so much. And hopefully you enjoyed this reading and we'll be back for more. So um, hopefully I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.